after the devastating Second World War was finally over, just about every single floating ship was put into service for the refugees who is now wanting to leave the war-torn continent that is Europe. And when I say everything, I mean it. Two barges, two freighters, and even cargo ships was all converted into ships that can take refugees off the European continent. One of these unlucky ships was a reasonably sized warship that was bought from the Australians, which will soon be known as the infamous SS Hellenic Prince. Rather fitting name for a ship that was overall bad in every way possible. The idea was to convert this tired old warship into a cruise ship or an ocean liner which will carry refugees through the seas and into new lands. The original name for this said warship was the HMAS Albatross, and I'm sorry if I butchered that name. It was named after some island off in the middle of the ocean that I don't know about. Anyways, the original purpose of this ship was to carry seaplanes, explaining why it has two large cranes on top of its deck. The new owners of the ship, China Hellenic Lines, sent Albatross into Wales, United Kingdom. Once she reached port, she was gutted and overhauled. Well, not really, but she was overhauled and was converted into a passenger ship. You may be wondering what new stuff did they add to the SS Albatross, aka SS Hellenic Prince? New rooms? New bridge? New dining rooms? Smoking rooms? Well, as it turns out, they added basically nothing. The newly named ship, now called SS Hellenic Prince, left the shipyard basically the same condition as before. If you look close enough, you may be able to spot that she had a few more lifeboats than before, but that's basically it. This small ship was meant to carry 1,200 passengers. I don't know what they were on when they were buying this ship, but that's way too much people in this small ship. The worst part is that there are no lounges on the ship itself and the passengers needed to sleep in bunk beds. And there's only one promenade deck for passengers to use in which they can't even use due to how low it is on the ship. To add salt to injury, the fridges on the ship often broke down mid-voyage, causing food to spoil. And even the ship itself broke down. Overall, the ship is a steaming pile of shit. The captain is also not helping improve the bad reputation of the ship since the current captain is smirky and rude and is overall a jerk. Hellenic Prince Captain is PC King, sounds like a rapper's name I know. Rather unfitting name for a man like him. King has been involved in several incidents regarding passengers in them. Like this one time when he told everyone to literally help the crew maintain and clean the ship. You heard me correctly, he told passengers that. This guy is an absolute tyrant. When Hellenic Prince sailed with passengers, she was packed with passengers from Europe. But on return voyages, hardly anyone is on the ship, if not nobody except for the crew. This is because of how disgusting and unmaintained the ship was, that even people looking for cheap cruises simply avoided sailing on them. Now, remember that the Captain King was involved in several incidents regarding passengers? Well, here's the story for all of you to hear. After a voyage one day, King accused the passengers of mutiny and poor behavior. In his statement, passengers' behavior this afternoon was an act of mutiny. The names of the agitators are known to me. Yikes. To clarify, this voyage that this incident happened on is one of those help maintain the integrity of the ship voyages. And the king, the captain of the ship, forced the passengers to help maintain and clean the ship. Not to mention that they were also sent down to the engine rooms and boiler rooms to help clean them up, only to be paid in cigarettes. Drinking water was sparse because everyone drank them all, and the worst part is that most of the fridges broke down mid-voyage, which means there was no food to eat since they were all spoiled. King, the captain, with all his wisdom, refused any disembarkation on the visited ports on their way to Australia. And due to 
how poorly maintained the ship was, the ballast tanks, which helped balance the ship, malfunctioned, causing the ship to list in one side, which caused an outbreak of seasickness on board. The whole voyage was utterly miserable, enough to make you jump off the ship yourself. As per usual, the passengers protested and revolted against the captain, which is completely reasonable since they were cold, tired, hungry, and thirsty. The captain responded with his infinite wisdom by spraying them down with cold seawater via a fire hose on board. Like why? Are you trying to be the worst captain ever on a ship? And then writing his statement on the onboard newspaper which was titled Kangaroo. Once Hellenic Prince reached Australia, word got out of the horrible condition of the ship. King was later interviewed by the West Australian newspaper. Once interviewed, King said, and this is word for word, their habits had been filthy and they were constant worry to the crew. Some of them aren't even white. It's Excuse me, what? Um, that's kind of racist. Anyways, as the quote continues, I do not know who is responsible for the choice of migrants to Australia, but some of these passengers are poor types, as in poorly taught in his point of view. Some appear to have a mentality of children. What a charming guy, huh? Many complaints were filed by the passengers, and some were serious. So serious that the International Refugee Organization just had to pay attention to King's behavior and the ship's condition. Once the complaints were verified and they've seen the state that the ship is in, the prince's owners were censored or sued depending on what you believe happened and the Hellenic prince made one last trip to the scrapyard in which she was scrapped in Hong Kong in 1954, ending the torturous history of this terrible ship. So, what did we learn? SS Hellenic Prince, even though it had a beautiful name, was an awful ship. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my other videos appearing now. And if you want me to cover the war history of the SS Hellenic Prince, let me know down in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.